guys, Top of the Nun again. Sorry it's been such a long time since my last video, but I have a new plugin to show you. It's one that I've been writing recently, and it serves as a replacement for Diablo Drops. Uh, I'm one of the authors of the Diablo Drops project, and I was not satisfied with how it was functioning, so I decided to give it a nice little rewrite. The product is something that I like to call Mythic Drops. Uh, Mythic Drops is more powerful at the moment. Already it's got a couple of neat fe features, like say, if I type slash MD, it gives you a list of all of the commands. So you have MD spawn, and it'll give me a random item. If I do slash MD spawn in a specific tier, um, it'll give me an item of that tier type. If I do MD spawn, it'll give me a random one. It'll give me a random tier if I put in an asterisk instead of a tier name. Uh, I can also, if I clear my inventory, I can do slash MD spawn, and then, and it'll fill my inventory with random items. If I clear my inventory, I can use slash md spawn. Let's go with Endric. It, it will fill my inventory with Endric items, which I think is pretty cool. Um, one thing that I know people have w worried about is uh, repairing items on anvils. So I'm going to spawn in a couple of them real quick, and you see how nice they look. If I get an anvil, and I get, oh, since this is leather, let's get some leather. If I place an anvil, and I'm in survival mode, I place it, I go to replace it, it's too expensive. You can't repair these you can't change their names. There's no way for you to change it. It's just too expensive. Um, if you want to see how much it would cost to repair it, it costs about 1020 to change the name of it or to uh, upgrade it. So that's not really much of an issue anymore. Um, so after this I'm going to show you what the configuration files look like. I have Mythic Drops running on my little test server here and if you go into the Mythic Drops folder you'll see that it's got a couple of files in here. Your config.yml which looks like this. You have the option of like in Diablo Drops en enabling only safe enchantments for the random enchantments that you put on a mob on an item. You've got display name formats, which you've got all of the additional variables you can throw in up here. Um, you've got percentage chance for mobs to spawn. And th this version of Diablo Drops, it's Mythic Drops, uh, has multi-world support. You can make it so that it only generates in certain worlds and that you can only use uh, certain things in certain worlds. So that's pretty neat in my opinion. I like it a lot. Uh, in the language.yml you can specify the names of different items. So remember how in uh, your config.yml it has the mythic material? Well the mythic material gets read from right here. So if you want to change this so it says so that iron shovels are named steel shovels when generated by the plugin, then any iron shovels that are generated after that point will be referred to as as steel shovels. Then you have your tier.yml, and your tier.yml contains pretty much all of the information about your tiers that you could ever want. So a couple of the nice things that I've put in here that you will find interesting are automatic and natural enchants. So automatic enchants, you can do things like say if you want to put sharpness on every single common weapon, 
you can do this and it'll put sharpness 5 on every single common weapon in that is ever generated. For natural enchants, you can do something like and that will make it so that sharpness 5 gets put on all um, swords. Uh, natural enchants are pretty much the same thing as automatic enchants except they only go on items that would normally be able to contain them while automatic enchants go on everything. So I could put sharpness 5 on swords and I could put punch on bows or something like that. Uh, for allowed enchantments you can do again things like sharpness or um, unbreaking or whatever uh, the list of bucket enchantments that you can use uh, and the only enchantments that will get put on your items are f contained inside this uh, to clarify only the random enchantments will only come from this list given here alright you've also got chance to be given which is basically the chance that an item will be chosen that a tier will be chosen to be given to an to a mob you've got chance to drop which is the chance that an item has to drop when it when a mob is killed when it's being wielded and you've got items and their types which is something that I'm going to cover in a second and then you've got IDs which is something else that I'm going to cover in a second alright so but so the item IDs and the item types come from your advanced config.yml if you open that up you'll see a list of IDs you've got tool IDs and you've got armor IDs inside each of these IDs you can add different items so this is mod compatible so you could say if you have mod XYZ you can add any item IDs from that so you can have item 999 be a sword and item ID 1000 be a axe or something like that makes it very simple for mods to be added into the configuration I could also make it so that a wooden axe is actually considered a sword by the plugin. So that's kind of cool. Uh, same thing goes for armor. Uh, you can add different things in here. Uh, and you can even add different types. So sword, axe, pickaxe, shovel, hoe, bow, fishing rod, and shears aren't the only ones. If you get paxels due to mods, you can put paxels and then whatever the IDs are so it's not exclusive you can put in whatever you want and organize them however you want armor IDs same thing goes and then this is an interesting one mobs spawn with item chance All right, so you remember how in this you have your mob spawn with item chance that's the general global if you just want it to be a .25 chance or whatever you set in your config.yml leave this section alone it will do absolutely nothing for you if you don't if you leave it like this it'll just be a 0.25 chance however if you want to modify that it'll take whatever you put in here for that creature type and multiply it by this so for example creepers have a 25 percent chance of spawning with an item and zombies have a 100 percent chance of spawning with an item since 4.0 times 0.25 is equal to 1 and this is based on a percentile system so 1.0 is equal to 100 percent and 0.0, .0 is equal to 0 percent 0 0.5 is equal to 50 percent and so on so you can change it so that it always or you can make it so that it very rarely there's no limit to how far out you can really get well there's a limit but it's hard to reach so just my advice is to just leave it like this and modify it through this All right, then you've got your tooltip format which is something that I like 
it lets you change the format in the tooltip of the item. So you can make it so that it's uh, here, and then you can use the exact same format variables, except for basic prefix and basic suffix down here. So you could do tier, tier name. And then on the first line of the item, it would tell you type and its mythic material, and then tier and its tier name. So that's basically about it so far. Uh, it's got a couple of nice things about it that Diablo Drops doesn't have. And I'm currently working on adding a couple new features like abilities, so kind of the exact same thing as sockets in Diablo Drops. But it will soon be ready for public consumption. And yeah, I hope you guys like the idea and think it's cool. If you do, let me know, and I'll be sure to work harder on it. Alright, thank you. Have a good day.